Hello Virgos and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, I think it's going to be overcast with a good chance of showers today, Virgo. By showers, I mean maybe some crying, letting go of emotions. And really the trigger point is the moon in Aries, which is putting emotional focus on you and boundaries anyways. Whenever the moon is in Aries, you're a bit more sensitive at the border. It's a great opportunity when you have someone that you can trust to be intimate with. That's a supercharged experience. But if you don't have that person or that isn't working out for you right now or you're learning boundary issues, well then suddenly what can be intimacy and ecstasy turns into a lot of grief and potential pain. And today, the moon's kind of wired up with Pluto and a trine to Sagittarius, which will really allow everyone on the planet to do some releasing. Now for Virgos, that release centers around intimacy issues and how that ties into your family or your childhood or even your home now. Maybe the home you've created with someone in an intimate relationship. So intimacy meets home issues right on the clock today for a few hours. But this could be a very short spring kind of shower because I think you've done most of the work here. And I think the universe's motive or intent of a transit this late in a Pluto uh, cycle is to just go ahead and let out all the rest of that stuff so you don't bring that baggage to the next issue, which is Pluto and Capricorn if you don't know. So today go ahead and let go and let flow as we say. Now you do have a lot of good healing energy also at your disposal. Venus is ruling the sun today. There's a nice beam of love and creativity that includes self-love and that all really focuses for you this month in the house of your star power, the spectrum of your consciousness that expresses your soul's truest intent. So if you find yourself releasing and crying or having any issues where you're letting go of the last 12 years and what you've been through, realize you're very creative today and it's a good day for you to sit down with yourself and do something fun with yourself or something loving with yourself because with all this release, the universe definitely has the medicine sitting right by that side. One last thing, as all this is going on, I just want to point out that Neptune is now working with Saturn. Saturn is in retrograde in your sign, which means you'll probably also have some intuitive awareness or intuitive understandings of how this all relates to ego and all relates to the plans you have to reinvent yourself right now. All right, Virgos, that's all I have for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Hang in there. Live, love, be. So good.